Euclid's Elements, Book 1, Prop 5. In isosceles triangles, the base angles are equal to each other, and if the lines be produced, then the angles under the base angles will also be equal to one another. So, the, for let's, so let's have a given here, a given isosceles triangle. Call it ABC. And in this triangle, line AB is equal to line AC. So that's our given. And if we produce this line, we can produce, we, we can take a straight line and we can extend them. That's prop two, postulate two that allows us to do that. We can extend straight lines. So we're going to prove two things. We're going to prove that the base angles are equal. So this angle and this angle are equal. So our base angles equal, that we're going to prove that. And then we're going to prove that the angles under the base are likewise equal to each other. Each other. So the angles under the base are equal. Well, we extend these lines as far as we wish. And then we pick a point at random. We'll just call this here, we'll call this D, we'll call this E. So we're going to extend AB to D, we're going to extend AC to E. And then we're going to pick a point at random on AD, and we'll just call this F. And now you can see that AF is shorter than AE, so from this longer line AE, we're going to cut a piece off that's equal to AF, and we'll call that G. So in our do Y chart here, okay, so we're going to extend, a, we're going to extend AD and AB, which we can do because of postulate two, we can extend straight line. And then we can make AF equal to AG by using book one, prop three, that allows us to cut from a longer line and piece equal to a shorter line. And now we're going to join these up. And I think it's gonna, I'm gonna use some different colors so it might be a little clearer to see what we're doing here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw, we have, now we have two triangles. We have triangle ABG and triangle ACF. And I'm gonna highlight those in different colors so they kind of stand out a little more. This is kind of helpful to see. All right, so we have this triangle in green and we have another triangle here in red. And what you should be able to notice is that unlike some of the triangles we've seen before where, where they're, they're like this, you know, together, one of them is flipped, so it's a mirror image. So, 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 so it's flipped and then it's overlapped. So that's what's happening here. And I, I can, I'll draw these so that they're a little bit easier to see, but these are the triangles. We're considering the green triangle, which is overlapped with the red triangle. So I'm gonna draw these over here in a way that maybe makes it a little easier to see. So I'm gonna draw the red triangle here, and this is triangle A, B, G, corresponding to this triangle. And I'm gonna draw this triangle here. This is gonna be A, C, oops. Yeah, let's see if we can draw roughly the same, roughly the same orientation. So this is going to be angle A, G, and then F. Now, what we should note is that this long side, AF, is equal of the, of the green trial is equal to the long side of the red. So this is equal to this. And we should be able to see that this short side, A to B, right, that's part of our given, um, remember, this is part of our given, which is that AB is equal to AC. So we can mark those. We can say AB is equal to AC. This is C. So those are equal. And notice they both contain the same angle here at A. And so we have two triangles that have two sides, two straight sides equal to two sides respectively, and the angle contained between them equal. So this should remind us of side angle side, 
This should remind us of side angle psi, prop four, which allows us to conclude that triangle ACF is equal to triangle ABG. And particularly, the bases are equal to the bases, and all the corresponding angles are equal to the corresponding angles. So this base here is equal to this base here. Now, if we mark this on our triangle here, so we're going to see that this base is equal to this base. And all the corresponding angles are equal. So this angle here is equal to this angle here. I'm just going to mark it with a single because it will be a little easier to deal with later. And likewise, this angle here, so, so this angle here at, at B, marked here, is equal to this angle here, and I'll mark it here. So this red angle and this green angle are equal to each other in those overlap triangles. It also turns out that this last angle here is equal to this last angle here. So let's mark that. We're going to look now at two more triangles, and I'm going to try to indicate these. One of these will be in purple. And the other in blue. So we have Christmas up here, and we've got black and blue down here. And again, you should be able to see that those triangles are mirror images of each other and they're overlapped. And again, it might be helpful to break those out. We've got triangle B, C, G in blue. And we have triangle C, B, uh, F, C, C, F, B in purple. And of those, remember, we've already, we have already marked that this angle is equal to this angle. And we know that BG here, I'll mark that here in red, is equal, is equal to, to, um, um, to FC. Now remember, AF was made equal to AG, and in AF, this piece AB is equal to this piece AC. So we could take this, we could take AF being equal to AG, and we could subtract the equal portion. So on, in AF, we could subtract AB, and from AG, we could subtract another equal AC, and that leaves the remainders to be equal. So the remainder, BF, is equal to the remainder, CG. And this is common notion, equals subtracted from equals leaves equals. So this lets us know that this is equal to this. And then, so you, you can see in these smaller triangles, we have a side angle side situation, just like we did before. Side one, angle, side two, side one, side angle, angle, side two. So this also is a side angle, side proof. So we can prove that these two triangles are equal. So that's what we'll say. We'll say triangle B, C, G is equal to triangle um, C, B, F. Again, to our side, side, oh, our side angle, side proof, Prop four. And that means that the base is equal to the base. Mark that. And the triangle is equal to the triangle, and all the corresponding uh, angles equal to the corresponding angles. And what we're really looking at here is we're looking at, let's say, we'll do it in blue. We're looking at this angle here, this angle here is equal to this angle here. And this angle here is equal to, I'll put make four, is equal to this angle here. 
And I'm going to color block those in terms of our triangle. So I'm just going to color block this little angle here, which corresponds to this angle. And this angle here, I'm going to color block because that corresponds to this angle here in purple. Another thing that's worth noting is that we have this angle CBF. Let's see if I can mark this here. Oh. This angle CBF is equal to this angle B, uh, BCG. And it's immediately worth noting that, that those are the angles under the base of our isosceles triangle. So we have proven that the angles under the base are equal. This big angle here at C, B, C, G is equal to the angle here, C, B, F. And that's the angles under the base. So we've proven the second part. Now it just remains for us to prove that this red angle and this green angle Again, not the whole thing that went down here. Remember, this went down here before. Okay, this is what we know for sure right now. And this is what we know for sure over here on this side. All right. But, so we, 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 have, we, have, we have angles that are bigger than we need. We actually need to get rid of part of those angles. If we could get rid of part of those two angles and it could show that we got rid of equal parts, then the remaining angles would be equal. And we can do that because we've already shown that this angle and this angle are equal to each other. This color blocked blue and this color blocked purple are equal to each other. And since this big red is equal to this big green, and these two smaller parts of those bigger angles are equal, we can remove this smaller angle from that big red and this smaller angle from that big green. And since we're removing equals from equals, the remainders are equal. Therefore, this remaining angle is equal to this remaining angle. And those are the angles at the base. So angle A, B, C is equal to angle A, C, B. Because we removed equals from equals. And again, that's common notion three. We took this big angle and this big angle and removed these smaller portions that were equal. And that leaves us with remaining angles. Therefore, in isosceles triangles, the base angles are equal, and if the lines be extended, the angles under the base, namely this angle here and this angle here, are equal. So that's prop five.